I used to be an underground Chicago hip hop artist about 15 to 20 years ago. And I got some cringy clips that I want to react to. On YouTube and I am quick to react to other people's cringy moments you know what let me do the same for myself so let's go back into time when I was in the music industry this is behind the scenes before I'm about to go on stage to open up for Diggy Simmons yeah so check this out we're here at the Diggy Simmons show doing big things at the Harold Washington uh, Cultural Center I don't know if y'all can see that but my teeth are like vampire teeth. My top teeth were crooked. I didn't get braces till I was 30 years old. Uh, so we're here at WGCI is in the building, you know how it is. So we got So WGCI is a big Chicago radio station, one of the top hip hop and R&B radio stations in Chicago. We got shy boys, you know how it's good. Yeah. I don't know what that was. It was quick. I was shouting out Shy Boys. There were another underground hip hop group from Chicago as well. I could have at least talked to them. I just did like a little drive by. <laughs> Poor guys. They probably didn't know what the fuck was going on. This video clip is from an audience member. I'm on stage. So that's me and my brother-in-law is up there with me as well. South side of Chicago. Gotta hype up the crowd, you know what I'm saying? Gotta hype them up a little bit. I don't know why I don't think he can hear you. <laughs> We're supposed to wave at the same time. Somebody missed their cue. Don't know if it was me or if it was him. <laughs> Terrible. This was actually from my perspective and what I see when I perform. This is south side of Chicago right there. Thank yeah. And then finally, Diggy Simmons gets on stage. Y'all know who Diggy Simmons is, right? They be trying to copy and paste me. That's the same crowd, y'all. Same crowd I was on stage uh, earlier. Copy and paste me. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> I opened up for Afro Man, too. But yeah, this was behind the scenes. Just listen to how I talked back then. It's embarrassing. Hey, show me who we got. Who we got? These were all the other artists uh, that opened up for him as well. That's crazy because he, these two guys, they have such beautiful voices. But this guy right here, he actually got into a car accident years later, and I believe he couldn't walk for a long, for a very long time. I don't know how he is now with recovery. That's he almost lost his life. <laughs> and there's Afro Man. Like, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, what, what's up? What's up? What's popping? What's cracking? What's crack a lacking? Let's, listen, that's just embarrassing. I don't know why I kept doing that. Well, actually, I do know it. It was the hip-hop culture. That's just what you do. <laughs> but it's embarrassing. Y'all want to see some real cringy shit? This is the behind the scenes of Shauna's music video shoot. <sighs> I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Let's go. I got to do it. Just got to do it. Hey, so who we got real quick? Hey, this is what's going down. It's critical. I ain't even going to say nothing. Y'all y'all going to see for yourself. Yeah, that's how it is. We got Bliss. And look who we got right now. Delicious. You remember her, right? Where, bitch? Her Where I don't see her. Party? Where's she at? Remember that shit though, right? There, there she is. I'm about to wait and see. There she is. So that's delicious. People my age will know who she is, but she was on Flavor of Love. We know when Flavor Flav was looking for love, and she was one of the top girls that he wanted. That's delicious. Flavor of Love, the one with the big ass. That's love. So we're doing the big photo shoot. Shana, video shoot, bitch. Not photo shoot. <laughs> Everybody. A man, what's your name? 
What's your name? Oh, yo, what's up, yo? This is Boy Body, you know what I'm saying? Checking the direction on the video shoot. Do the live. That's a... Uh, and where you from? What group? Oh, uh, part two. You know what I'm saying? Chicago all day rapping. You know what I'm all day. Another Chicago group. The thing about me that I really did appreciate back then is that I always supported other artists. I was in the music industry for fun. It was a hobby for me. I would get paid from time to time, but it was just the experience that I loved. Being amongst other artists, they're actually trying to make it. <laughs> so every time I had a chance, I would always introduce them on camera or promote them on camera. And I still do that to this day with YouTubers now that I'm in the YouTube game. But the way that I talk, y'all listening to how I'm talking though? Shy City. Doing it big, y'all. Oh my god, Delicious and her butt and her butt. Her butt is doing a collabo. Oh my god. She's doing a camo right now. Cameo right now. <laughs> I just keep talking about her ass. So that's how we do it. That's how we do it. I'm sure she can hear me too. <laughs> I'm sure she can. Listen to the fucking building, other type records. Who else we got? Another Chicago artist. She's got track with Super Die. Who else? Who else you got track with? Too short. Too short. What's happening? So you got track with us? For sure, for sure. It's called I Got Swag. She's looking for that. It's dropping real soon. She's doing it big, y'all. Guess where we at? And a track with Shauna, bitch. That's where we got it in, y'all. I said a track. Girl, it's a video shoot. I opened up for Shauna a few times. Y'all probably don't even know how I am on stage, huh? Let's see. See, I can go hard when I rap, but I'm also on stage trying to have fun. Now that I've finished hitting the stage, Shauna's about to come up. Y'all know who Shauna is, right? That was just a little reminder, that's all, but let's see the behind the scenes right before she gets on stage. He's featured, uh, I don't know if y'all yeah, heard, but that's Lebowski. He featured in a lot of Tech Nines uh, songs on his albums. What's up, baby? Chicago, all fucking day. Let's do it. Let's do it. Shout out to all my sexy ladies in the building. Juicy. She's shouting out a lot, all the female artists that performed that night. And Lebowski. Shout out to Bliss. Thank you. Okay. Listen, I had to make sure she didn't forget me, so I had to remind her. Don't don't forget Bliss now. So I don't know if y'all see, but like you hear other people uh, trying to get her, er, trying to get her to shout them out on the microphone. <laughs> you hear my guy in the background say, Hugh Hefty, Chris Love, because I'm closer to her. I repeated it for him. Hugh Hefty, Chris Love. Oh, yeah, shout out to my nigga Hugh Hefty. That's yes. my nigga. <laughs> That's my guy right there, Hugh Hefty. I know the video's all fucked up, but listen, back then, I didn't have a phone with a camera on it, okay? So I used a regular, uh, is it a digital camera? So that's what I'm using. So lighting ain't great. This is what you get. That's you have to. He was my hip hop. He was my um, music uh, mentor. Are we ready? Are we queued up? Because I'm ready. Take it. Take it. Bad boy. Bad boy. That's Mill Ticket. He was signed on Bad Boy. Um, I don't know exactly what he did, but he was always around. But I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. And of course, Shauna hits the stage. Hey. <laughs> and after the show, everybody just has a good time. Everybody's out and about doing their thing. And here I am with my camera. <laughs>
and people's faces. I'm all about helping promote other artists, and Shauna was too. Yes. I fuck with my nigga. I met him in a club one night. He was trying to tell me, yo, I do this, I do that. I'm like, yeah, hey, I heard that. When I heard my nigga on stage tonight, all I gotta say is bars. You niggas better get back in the studio and get your motherfucking shit right. You shorty and clean. Right. I co-sign. Yep. What's his name? What's his name? Co-sign. Sinatris. Sinatris. How, how do we look you up? How do we look you up? Bars. I know you Look at that. Come on now. Flyers. Okay, this is how we used to do it back then. We were not SoundCloud artists. That shit did not exist. We did all the footwork. We would go to shows with business cards, flyers, CDs. Okay, so after you perform, you pass that motherfucker out. Some will pass them out for free. Some will pass them out for money. But the whole point is promoting through word of mouth. It wasn't as easy as it is now where you can just upload the motherfucker and then share it to everybody just sitting at home. Can you talk about hey, listen, tonight like featuring that. Hugh Hefty and yeah, Chris Love? Yo, I ain't got to talk about Hugh Hefty because he's family. That's family. About anything you have to need from me, you got it. We welcome into his family. Shout out to moms. Mom, making a beautiful enchilada. That's fucked up. You got enchiladas before I did. I did. I did. All right, let's get out the car. Hey, that's real Chicago. That's real Chicago. We're here. He on his way, whether you fuck with him or not. We're here. Hugh Hefty is the one that pushed me to do music. It took him a whole year to convince me, and then I finally went on stage, fucked up a couple times on my one verse. But I fucking loved the crowd, and ever since, I did it for five years. And I moved up quick. This is a local radio station. This is their camera. Hey, we got this up-and-coming artist from Chicago. It's a girl. She goes by the name of Bliss, and this is her song called Body. Drop my hip-hop, I drop what I gain from it. Props are not what I cop, so I care less for it. Loving the feeling when I dance and getting people jealous. Love when the ladies you can get and stare at from the fellas. I'm gonna switch up the minds, that's just the way I do it. <laughs> people love that song for some reason. I mean, I, I like it too, but... Artists are their, are their worst critics, so, you know, I always feel like I could have done better. That was just a local, small radio station. KISS FM played my song as well, and that's another huge, one of the top radio stations in Chicago. And then Chuch Radio is another small uh, radio station. Uh, he asked me to come for an interview, and let me tell you, I don't like how I am in this video. This is actually a 20-minute interview. Y'all don't gotta see all that. Okay, it's embarrassing. I have social anxiety. I didn't know that back then. Looking at this clip now, knowing that, is like, damn, when I'm trying so hard just to be comfortable, I look cocky, too cool for the room, but it's just because I'm nervous and I try not to show it, if that makes any sense. But here we go. On the church radio. My first guest is right here from uh, Chicago, Illinois. Well, you from where you from? Like I said before, man, I lived everywhere in Illinois. But right now I'm fighting in Belgium. I, I'm fucking, I'm homeless. I'm sorry, let me tell you. I really was right too. Now, I got a place to stay right now, so. I really was. I was bouncing from like uh, couch to couch. I was struggling back then. I'm doing a lot better now, though. Okay. Garage, if you need to. Really? That's, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You can tell in the way that I'm sitting that I'm nervous. Love seat, you short, you might be able to fit on there. Oh, like that? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Love seat. You know? As long as I can fit a woman on there, I'm okay with that. Don't trip. You can get on there. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. What's up, y'all? I'm Bliss. Yeah. Check me out. Yes, sir. We 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 definitely get ready to check you out. You got your paparazzi up in here and everything. That know? one person. I hey, know. I seen her at the, she performed at the uh, Shauna concert, and what's so funny is, I was, you know, since I was a guest myself, you know, I pick and chose, you know, who I was videotaping. Yeah. I wasn't getting ready to record everybody. Yeah, I man. slept on her. I was sitting up there, standing up there like, man, is anybody recording this? Women in the hip-hop industry, they do not get the respect that they deserve. People don't expect much, especially from a lesbian woman who is masculine presenting. It's like, okay. But then the music starts and it blows people away, you know? I had a really good stage presence. The great thing about opening up for big artists is that I know the performance schedule, okay? So I know what time every artist is supposed to get on. Other artists who opened up for these bigger artists, they like to either hang out backstage or they like to even 
sneak themselves onto the stage with the artists in the background so they can just party with them. But me, no, I know what time they're about to start. So listen, I'm gonna be the first one in the front in the audience because I'm not only gonna support you, but I have a great time watching other performers. This is do or die. Do or die was one of them. Do you? Do you? some uh travis porter too i don't know if y'all remember him oh the beat drops got a little bit of busy bone from Bone Thugs in Harmony. On my very last show, I opened up for Twista. Twista, you told her right. Hey, you will still never be over now. That was just a little reminder in case you forgot who Twista is. But this is a clip. That was actually a cup of alcohol that was handed to me from someone in the audience. I don't do drugs. I never did drugs back then either. I did drink alcohol, but I only drank after I finished performing. I cannot, I don't know how people fucking do it. I could not be under the influence of anything because I would not be able to think straight. So I never drank on stage. So I put that cup down. Let's look at the other performances. That's one of my friends, okay? I'm thinking that putting a friend on stage was gonna help my, my, my performance, but girl, she did not know how to dance. Look at her. Look at her go. <laughs> she was just drunk. I came to the realization that I was in an abusive relationship. It infuriated me that I allowed that to happen. So I wrote this verse and you can just see the anger that I have. I never recorded the song. Hear me out, yeah. Rapping this. Just wrote this song. Bear with me. This is what I'm saying. My tears that come out bloody My story ain't nothing funny So I tell it, come here, this honey I'm tired of keeping the silence It buries me deep, buries me deep Getting up off these knees Cause I'm done with all this At ease You're gonna hear me out You ain't gonna shut me down Call me a bitch again Talk to my back, I'm out I ain't having no sleepless night And that fist hit in my face Not no more I put that on my Christ I've been patient Thought that you were changing, your head's past, ain't nothing changing You get too goddamn drunk, can't remember the shit you were saying While you did it, I remembered every night my ass was praying I ain't going back again, I'ma keep on by myself And if you do go insane, you can blame that on yourself Go ahead and yell, I'm done with all your drama You can scream it down to hell Ugh, sad I look at her right now and just like, I want to help her. <laughs> like, that really fucked me up, being in those relationships and 
looking looking at that, I can see the hurt and the pain. And I wish I could just go back into time and just tell her, like, Bliss, you're going to be fine. You're going to be good. You're still a good person. Continue on. You'll be all right. Ah, so crazy. This is uh, another verse I wrote. I never recorded this one either. I don't mean to be a bitch, don't mean to be so stubborn If you look into my past, you'll understand these words I utter If you was a kid and lost your innocence The sins that they committed that happened cause they were sick But now I'm grown, so I'ma leave that shit alone But then I lost my cousin, got so fucked up in my dome When I pick up that phone, there's no way for me to call him I miss you dearly, brother, can't wait for the day I hug him Don't mean to be so cold, don't mean to be so bitter Got hit in the face by a man, so they consider My so-called buddy, saw it all, and tonight Nothing. Ten years of the friendship wasn't shit, let me tell you something My friends were with my friends, they shortly left departed Got stuck with a bitch, you got drunk, beat me, retarded Well maybe if this is what it is Maybe I mean to be a bitch, I mean to be so cold I mean to be retarded, I mean to be so bold Okay, <laughs> you tell them Listen, the word retarded, you know, back then it was acceptable to say and especially in the hip-hop industry obviously i wouldn't use that word now <laughs> i learned a lot okay i i educated myself a lot that was young bliss i'm the older one i'm a little different today all right you guys tell me what you thought about this video i mean i just came up with the idea of just criticizing myself judging myself because why the fuck not all right y'all see you in the next video peace